So D23 is coming up and I thought I would do a video. In my mind, I was thinking I would do this like really long, deep dive into all the different Disney designer dolls, Disney designer princess dolls they have made. Now I wasn't gonna count the like the sets. They did different sets like fairy tale sets, um, heroes and villains sets, movie moment sets. I mean, I wasn't going to count the like D23 ones. I mean, I was not going to count the like special edition, like movie anniversary ones. But in my mind, I still feel, I still thought, okay, obviously Disney has made lots of Disney princess lines. There's been a ton. No, <laughs> that is incorrect. There has honestly only been two, two Disney designer dolls. Did I even do my intro? I don't think I did. I'm kind of all over the place. Hi everyone, welcome back to Christina Land, a place for grown-up gift givers and adult toy collectors. Okay, let's see if I can go back to my thought. Yes, there's only two, two complete Disney princess lines that the Disney store has ever come out with. And the first one was 2011, and that one was at Disney at D23. Um, I will put a picture here while I read the description. Disney princess designer collection Debuted at the at D23 in 2011, each princess had her own designer dress and looked like it came off a runway. It also had lithographs, cards, mugs, featuring the matching artwork. They had salon quality hair, articulation, which up until then I don't think Disney Store had as much articulation, bigger eyes, and rooted eyelashes. At D23 also, the actresses who are still alive were at D23, the ones who played their uh, Disney counterparts, and they each received a doll of the character. There's also a special Silver Cinderella um, that was a D23 exclusive. Now these sold for, guess how much? Guess how much if you know Disney designer dolls are? Just guess. All right, have you guessed? $60, $60, which seems insane. Let's do an inflation calculator and see how much $60 from 2011 would be today. Cause I always find that fascinating. Ha ha ha. Oh man. You can tell inflation has gotten so bad because, or maybe not inflation, just manufacturers because, all right. So these dolls that sold out in 2011, they sold out, like they sold out completely. Um, I didn't care for them personally. I don't really like, just my personal preference, I don't really like runway model looks. That's, that's not what I go for. I like more fairy tale, beautiful dresses with my Disney princess, princesses, um, generally. But as we'll see in the doll I'm unboxing, yes, I will be unboxing a doll, uh, a Disney, a Disney doll that I don't necessarily always go for fa fairy tale fashions. Um, so guess how much $60 is worth today in 2024? $83.50, which means the second designer Disney line they did of the Disney princesses, instead of $130, $130. Each one, if we're just going by inflation, should have been $83.50. Of course, that was 2021 and 2022. That probably would have been $80. Yeah. Now, there was one other line that was one I remembered, but they only featured five Disney princess dolls. I will put a picture up here. They were based on the year that their movie premiered. So it was Ariel, Belle, Jasmine, Tiana, Snow White, and Cinderella. These did not premiere at D23. Uh, this was in 2018. Uh, a few of them sold out pretty quickly, as I recall. Snow White and Cinderella did. I believe Ariel did as well. I don't think Tiana, Jasmine, Belle did though, I think. But you know, it's it's been a minute, so I don't remember. I was trying to look it up and I couldn't find the information. In 2018, the six Disney princess dolls that premiered with their movie, those cost $110. No, wait, 105. What was it? I, I got, I got the price here somewhere. No, 110. 
Those cost $110. That was 2018. And then in 2021, the line was released for the full princess set, which did not include Anna and Elsa. Disney designer. These were made to have uh, artists and like different artists made the dolls how they thought they should be. So they weren't, they were it wasn't really a cohesive line. Like the 2018, the 2011 was like fashion models. It was more cohesive. 2018 was based on looks from when their movies premiered. 2021 was just different artists took the dolls and made it how they wanted to be. And I think that could be also why it didn't sell as well because it wasn't a cohesive line. And it seems like dolls sell better, limited edition dolls, or at least Disney do, and they're a cohesive line. Now, I thought some of the dolls were really, really good. Um, I have Moana and I have Tiana, which I'll put links in the description below if you want to watch my unboxings of those. And then finally, I also bought Merida. I think she looks amazing. And instead of 130, I paid. It says $60, but I actually paid $45 because she was at my Disney outlet store and it was, I think, 15% off of 60 or 25% off. Whatever is percentage off makes it 45. So that's how much she was. Um, this box is huge. I don't believe the boxes from 2011 were like this. I think they were just in a acrylic case with the dolls in it because before 2015, the dolls, special edition dolls would be in acrylic cases. Um, I'm looking this way because I, my two, uh, Rapunzel sets that I have, um, are in acrylic cases. So I've never unboxed them because they're in acrylic cases. <laughs> um, I don't know. I usually unbox dolls and I'm going to unbox this, but, uh, oh, I just, I know that, I know there's YouTube videos on how to unbox acrylic cases and to do it so that I could put it back in. I think I'm just nervous, even though, even though those dolls were cheaper than a single doll now, because I'm pretty sure the doll sets that I bought were $120. Uh, I have Rapunzel and Flynn. I'll show a picture because that's just easier than me trying to take it down from its place. Um, and then I have Rapunzel and uh, Mother Gothel. Yeah, I think they were $120 each. So, But let's unbox Merida, which I'm not keeping this box because, you know, you can't really display it. Also, I guess if you open this up, you can display it, but I don't know. I guess I think like since they're in acrylic cases, they seem more special. I mean, their clothing is amazing, I'll tell you that, which I can't honestly tell because I can't feel it since it's in acrylic cases. This is not the point. The point is, was Merida worth $130? And I, I did pay close to full price for Tiana because I honestly thought she was going to sell out. She didn't. I mean, she did eventually, but after she was discounted, not as heavily as Merida and Moana, but still discounted. So we have um, Princess Celebration. It talks about the artist, what their inspiration was for creating the doll, which I think is really cool that they have that. We have um, a Certificate of Authenticity. I have number 576 of 9800, which that also might be why these didn't sell well. They made too many. And they probably did because in the past, Disney dolls sold out like I'm not going to snap because who knows, maybe the snap will wake up my dog. We never know what's going to wake up my dog. Yeah, it used to be that they would sell out really quickly. So maybe Disney's like, we got to make a ton. Yeah, which I think now they don't, they don't do that anymore because, um, yeah, I wanted Sally Slater, the Haunted Mansion doll, but, uh, she sold out pretty quickly and I, I didn't have the money for her. So that's okay. It is what it is. Um, all right, I'm going to pause this so that I can unbox it and I will come back and we'll see if she's worth 130. 
I can tell you she's definitely worth $45, that's for sure, but we'll see if she was worth $130. We'll see. I'll be right back. If any of you ever find the designer dolls on secondhand markets or third-party seller, if you want, you can just take um, her out of the bigger package and display her this way. So we've got, like, the packaging looks like this is kind of stairs that she's standing on. And then the back is, like, where she lives. But again, we're going to unbox her, so I'll be right back. Okay, that was like 20 minutes, I'll never get back. That took a really, really, really long time to unbox. It's kind of like they're like, don't you dare unbox. You do not want to unbox. You want to display this doll in a box. I'm like, no, I don't because I have no room for boxes, which is why I unbox my dolls. Except in the acrylic cases, because like they're pretty well contained and they're acrylic. I don't know. They just seem like fancy. <laughs> um, she is beautiful. She has more of a, uh, a round face, rooted eyelashes, pale skin, freckles, dark red lips, kind of in a smirk, bright reddish orange hair in curls that are heavily, heavily gelled. And she does have a really cool braid on the side. Her hair is kind of an updo, but then also kind of in a ponytail. She's so pretty. She has one earring that has like a hoop with chains, and actual chains, not like plastic. This really nice hardware, like on her neck and shoulders. This is plastic though, I think. Yeah, this is plastic, but it looks nice. Faux fur on her left shoulder. And she has sheer brown sleeves. On her left arm, she has armbands. I can't tell what material the armbands are. Probably plastic, but they seem quite nice. On her other arm, she just has some brown pleather looking straps. She's wearing a separate pair of pants that are plaid, turquoise, dark red. And she's wearing this top that also connects to this beautiful like Oh man, I don't know what to call it. It's not a cape, because it's on the bottom portion. Well. So it looks like a dress, this part, because the Velcro's in the back. But then you can see that she is wearing a separate piece of pants. So I guess maybe an overskirt? It's really nice. It has red, burgundy red lining. It has a big paw print with their Celtic design that is ironed on and then I can't tell if the the beadwork and the accents around it are embroidered or also ironed on. Then she has what looks like embroidery at the bottom of her overskirt, also in that plaid design. The front of her top is in that plaid design, but then also has different pleather belts, chains that are real chains, and then this arrow. There we go, this arrow that looks so cool in bronze. She does come with a stand. And then she comes with this purse that is plastic and you cannot open it. No. It looks really nice. It's a black looking color, a dark brown black color with gold accents. I mean, an actual chain, which is nice. Oh, and then the back has the, the paw symbol with the Celtic design. She does have more chains on the front of her overskirt. Now I did undo one of the tea ties, which is why this doesn't quite look as good as this side. It wasn't until I, I did when the tea ties, I realized, oh, it's there to keep it in place, not to like keep the doll in the box. So 
don't do what I did. And it's hard to tell when they put tea ties and everything. Like, how are you supposed to know, oh, is this to unbox the doll or is this supposed to keep things look nice? Hard to tell. Oh, I didn't even mention the shoes. My goodness, I gotta mention the shoes. Shoes are amazing. Faux fur for the tops of the boots and then brown boots with like bear claws at the front. So amazing. So amazing for the toe part. Incredible. So she has a lot of good designs. She has different pieces. Uh, there is some plastic, but there's also some hardware, which is nice. There might be embroidery, but it might not be. It's hard for me to tell. Um, last time when I thought something was embroidered, it wasn't. So I don't sew. This is just me guessing. Oh, there's also fringe on the bottom of her overskirt. So, you know, it's made very well. The quality seems really good. 130 though, I don't know. Um, <laughs> which I think a lot of all other people was like, yeah, I don't know about that, which is why it, uh, this line for the most part went heavily discounted. Um, which is probably why Disney is not going to do a complete princess line again. And again, I thought that they had done several princess, like complete Disney princess lines, but only two. The first one, which sold out like hotcakes in 2011, it was a much reasonable price though, $60, just saying. And then this one in that debuted in 2021, which, you know, maybe not the best time to debut a complete princess line. And they're probably not going to do it for quite a while because with the way the economy is, yeah, people are not going to be spending 130 for Princess line. Probably smart of them. So what they're going to just do is do, I think from now on, just focus on the special edition dolls, like anniversary dolls, D23 dolls. I really like her face. If, um, I had my stepladder, I would get my other Merida doll so you can see the difference. Um, instead, I'll put a stock photo. Don't focus on me, camera. I'll put a stock photo of the original Disney Merida doll so you can see the difference. But I like how this one's looking at you. The eye color is much better, the more depth in the eye color. I think her face looks a little different. I really like her. Um, really glad I got her on sale for $45 as opposed to $130. Um, I think the, the thing is, like, Disney dolls are just expensive, so no, especially in the future, D23 happens every other year, so it's 2024, D23 is happening soon, so you have two more years, you have two years to, like, save up in case there's a D23 doll that you really want that's available at the Disney store, because some are just available at D23, which, you know, sucks for the rest of us who will never, ever be able to go to D23, I'm really hoping that they never do a, a particular doll I want because I'll never be able to get her because I'll never be able to go to D23. Uh, the doll I'm talking about is from the Black Cauldron. If they did Nylon Wee doll, oh my gosh, I would love her. And it's more because I love the Chronicles of Perdane books. I don't even own the Black Cauldron, but the books themselves, the Chronicles of Perdane, I love them so much. They're by Lloyd Alexander and they're what some people call Lord of the Rings light. Because they do, he does borrow heavily from that kind of mythology, um, but also Celtic mythology as well. But there's definitely, like, you can see he borrowed from probably not even just J.R.R. Tolkien, but other authors. But if you've never read Lord of the Rings, you'll be like, wow, the Chronicles for Dane are great. Um, so if you've never read the Lord of the Rings, or if they're too much for you, I recommend the Chronicles of Dane, which starts with... Um, the Book of Three. It starts with the Book of Three, then the Black Cauldron. Um, if you've ever seen the Black Cauldron, please note that it is much different than the book. And please start with the the, the Book of Three. Let's start in order. Then go to the Black Cauldron. But they're a good series. I like them. Um, yeah, so if they ever made an Ilan Wee doll and she was only available at D23, I'd be so sad because I love her character in the books. Really good book series. Well, anyway, I guess that was my not too deep dive into Disney designer dolls. I'm really thankful that I do have Merida. I think she's really beautiful. Um, I think her clothes are really good. I like that she has hardware. She has the stand synchronous. 
Um, she has a purse. She has rigid eyelashes. I think they did a lot of good work with her. Oh, my doggie is up. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm almost done with this review. Yay. <laughs> So, um, yeah, let me know what you think about D23, what you think about Disney designer dolls. Do you have any of them? Are you frustrated with the fact that there's so much, especially because they were $60 in 2011, and based on inflation, that comes to, I think I said 84 85 I think it's eighty six fifty, eighty six fifty. Um, yeah, which is way cheaper than 130 But Disney knows they can do it because they can, so they do. Oh, Disney. Anyway, let me know what you think about everything. Well, not everything. Well, I guess you could let me know what you think about everything. But in particular, D23, Disney designer dolls, Merida. Have you bought any designer dolls? Are they worth it? Have you had bad experiences with shipping from the Disney store, by the way? Um, I did buy Tiana from the Disney store, and she came fine. But I have read reviews where other people have bought... Like, even recently, Sally Slater, uh, the Haunted Mansion limited edition doll from Disney Store, and her box was just beat up. So let me know if you have experience with that. I'm really curious. Um, yeah. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more. Please ring the notification bell so that you can be notified each time I release a video. Please share with your friends, um, especially if they're into D23. I'm really curious about people's thoughts on these dolls or Disney designer dolls in general. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. And remember, it's okay to like what you like, be who you are, and stay good at heart. I will see you in the next video. Bye.